What is up YouTube, Kevin Wolford 123 Today I'm on shaky cam, which is my phone, to show you something that I've had made. Um, well, let's get straight to it. I'm going to show you it because it's damn awesome. Now, as you can see, if anyone knows anything about retro gaming, you know what this sign is from. This is the world-class service kit, basically, uh, engineer for Nintendo. Uh, back in the day, you had the... So, what would you say? You know, like, you've got Xbox that repair stuff and stuff like that. Nintendo had their own uh, service center, and you would send Nintendo NES and Super Nintendo in, and they'd test it and fix it for you and fix games and send them back. And this was one of the signs that they used to have in the back. Now, the problem is, if you want the original sign from back in the day... Probably looking at quite a bit of money. I'm going to say, I'm guessing here, probably like four or 500 quid for an original sign. Um, they are very sought after, obviously, for collectors. Uh, and as you know, Amanda, my partner, she found this guy uh, from F3 Woodcraft. Um, yeah, he basically makes beautiful works of art out of wood. Uh, she said, take a look at his stuff. And I was like, blown away. And I said to him, I've got this design. Any chance you can make this? And he was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Now, I'm going to show you for size. See, this is a Wii remote. So if you know the size of a Wii remote, if you work out, you know, that's... It's hard to get the shot in because obviously the phone zooms in quite far. But yeah, this is uh, Mario in his repair attire. And as you can see, I don't know if you can make it out, everything's cut out in wood. It's all pieces. Painted and glued on with his screwdriver. Even down to the detail, if you can make that out, individually cutting out every letter of the Nintendo sign and the words World Class Service Kit. Now, I, I'm not too sure. Like, I, I mounted it on the wall. Um, I've got up here, you can just make out there's a puck light. I was going to mount it at the top here and have it lit down. But most of the time, pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not playing in the dark. So... With the puck light, it probably wouldn't... If I put it up here and it lights down, it's not going to give me enough light to make you go, wow, you know, it stands out because the light already shows up, as you can see. Because I've got, obviously, my other unit here and these puck lights here. Um, if to ignore the flickering because, yeah, that's what happens when it picks up the LED lights. But as you can see, that looks great. But here, this is already lit up, so I don't think it really needs it unless it was a dark room. Uh, so I think I'm going to leave it as it is. But yeah, this was, I mean, the price he gave me. Obviously, everyone's different depending on what you have because, you know, some people might have a piece which is just like the size of Mario's head. Prices vary from stuff he does, so uh, get a quote from him. But for me, the price of this, I was willing to pay like triple the price. It was absolutely incredible. Um, so I put it on a few of the groups, uh, on the Nintendo groups. I put it on... I think it was Retro Realm on Facebook. And a few people have messaged him and asked him for quotes on stuff. So, but yeah, if you'd like your own one made or if you want, I mean, don't have to go with the same thing, obviously, because I've got this one here. Um, but this is awesome. But if you want something like this made, he makes Sonic stuff. He makes Nintendo stuff. He makes like actual signs that say Nintendo, things like that. He has like Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails and everything. You can think of it. He's, he's done everything. But if you want your own thing, I'll leave a link down below uh, in the description and it'll be straight to his Facebook page. He's a nice guy. Just message him and he'll chat to you anytime and he can hook you up. But yeah, I just wanted to show it off because it's so damn cool. Absolutely beautiful. And I can't stop looking at it and it's so, I just love it. And it makes me want more, which is probably going to be a bad addiction, getting more and more of these all over the walls. But uh, yeah, so it will go and protect the NES set. As you can see, in this set, probably needs to tidy up a little bit. But uh, yeah, he's going to watch over it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.